Now then, though it may be obvious at this point, you got it right once again. That's like three in a row. And that's right, the true identity of this horrifying black and who killed two girls was Mikan Tsukumiki. Damn it. You gotta be shitting me. Are you saying Mikan's the one who nursed us back to health was the one who killed them? I won't forget Don't joke around with me, Mikan. Did you lie to us all along? Were you planning to kill them from the start while you were nursing them? <laughs> hey! Don't laugh, say something. This is going nowhere. This, this chick. Hey, hey. This is nothing like Pekko. She's actually gone mental. Well, that's obvious. There's nothing we can do. She's no longer the same person. She's no longer the Mikan Tsukumiki we knew. Huh? Hey. Based on my predictions, she might have caught it too. She probably had the despair disease, which was the motive of this case. Holy shit. You're fucking right! <gasps> God damn it! How did I even notice that? What? Mikan too, you say? I... I know, because I was looking at Mikan for so long. She was the one taking care of me, after all. My consciousness kept drifting, but even so, when I thought... Uh, when I did cla- uh, fuck. When I did catch a glimpse of her, her expression was... Full of despair. A despair so devoid of hope that... Not even a single frig uh, figment of it remained. How did I fuck that up? Hold on. Did you say Mikan also had the despair disease? Then that means she was... What? Huh? Hajime, has something crossed your mind? My body's heavy. No, not just heavy. It's somewhat soft and really hot. That's right. Mikan felt really hot at the time. Now that I think about it, that must have been a high fever, just like what Ibuki and Akane had. It cannot be. Then, because of that disease, Mikan was. Here's the thing. I'm so like, damn it, Mikan's the killer. Damn it. But I'm so happy that she didn't do it on her own free will. That's wifey right there. Perhaps. The symptoms that she surely felt must have been uh, deserving of the name despair disease. Losing all hope and harboring despair for all hope. Because of the despair disease, she was likely overcome with despair. See? That's the reason why she can still laugh in such a hopeless situation. <laughs> so she still has the disease? Jeez. Which means Mikan standing before us is no longer the ultimate nurse. She's a completely different person now that she's infected with the despair disease. Isn't that right? She's a human who deserves to be called the ultimate despair ultimate despair <laughs> I that's the reason why I cannot forgive this I mean killing someone for the sake of despair instead of for the sake of hope possible there's no way I can forgive that oh for the sake of despair <sighs> that's completely wrong huh? wrong wrong what's wrong for the sake of my beloved. Am I your beloved? Huh? Wait, wait, shut up, Kazuichi. Am I her beloved? Huh? Wh who are you talking about? <laughs> if only they were still alive, they'd be so happy. What? I know. My beloved was the only one. That's right. The only one who never hated me. They forgave my existence. They forgave me and accepted me. They gave me value. They loved me. I loved them with all my heart, and they returned it in full. This is my reciprocation. <laughs> I understand that I've done something unforgivable. Wait, hold up. What the fuck are you talking about? But you know, but you know, to transcend all this is truly... It's love. What love is all about. Hey. I don't understand. What are you saying? <laughs> you don't understand? Is it because you don't have anyone to love? 
Is it because you're also someone who's who isn't accepted by anyone? What a pity. I feel sorry for you. <laughs> I'm sorry, but Komaida's reaction. Love it. Well. Even if I say this, I'm sure nobody would understand it, but... Love is a wonderful thing. This is feeling of freedom where you no longer care about anything. <laughs> My beloved and I are the ones within the thin ve veil and I just look- <laughs> What the fuck? Within the thin veil and I'm just looking out through it. <laughs> That's why as long as I'm the one inside, no matter how much they tease me, splash me with water, kick me. <sighs> it's like nothing matters. I could just die. That's how little it matters. Who cares about hope or despair? It's love. Only love. Could it be? Nagito, is this really the despair disease you were talking about? This is... It seems like I was wrong. Not only she was infected by despair. Ah, <sighs> uh, you were half right. It's right to say this is all thanks to that disease. Because thanks to that disease, I was able to remember my beloved. Wait, your memory came back? <laughs> Apparently, that's what my symptom was. What a wonderful symptom. Which means you had the remembering disease? But... But if this means she remembers something and ended up like this... Are you saying that we're like this from the start? Were you like this before you even came to this island? <laughs> Don't be so angry. Well, first of all... The reason I became like this wasn't my fault. It was all your fault, you know? Because it's not like I'm entirely responsible for turning out like this. I'm the person I am today because many human relationships. So... It's everybody's fault that I turned out like this, you see? <laughs> Even so, the current me was most strong influenced by the beloved existence. And it was also my beloved who created that me that everyone can't forgive. But my beloved still forgives me and still accepts me. That's the key difference between all of you and my beloved. Don't fuck with me! Like I said, who the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Are you saying this is Mikon? Is this the real Mikon? Mikon, please answer me. Do you really remember? You ended up like this all because you remembered? There's no way I can believe that. There's no way that person right now is the real Mikon. <laughs> oh, you still doubt me? Then to prove I remember, I'll tell you all something nice. It's about that World Ender organization that you all were worried about. Are you the traitor? You serious? You know? <laughs> Not no, I just remembered, that's all. I knew about it all along, how the horrifying organization known as World Ender is also the organization known as the Future Foundation. Wait, what? Okay, so, here's the thing. I'm not going to spoil anything, but... In between sessions, I went and I bought Ultra Despair Girls, and Future Foundation plays a heavy part in that. Mikan, what the fuck are you saying right now? Future Foundation. Future. That's right, the symbol on the ancient ruined door. That's right. It was the Japanese word for future. Hey. Just what is Future Foundation? What are they planning? As the name suggests, the organization is the World Ender. The Future Foundation is trying to end our world. To put it simply, they're trying to claim the world for themselves. This is bad. What the hell? This isn't a comic book, you know. <laughs> As part of their plan to end the world, the Future Foundation brought us to this island. What? Hmm. Isn't that right, Monomi? Yeah. Huh? I knew it. Monomi, Monokuma, they're both members of that crazy organization, aren't they? <laughs> Monomi and I aren't members. I am Monokuma. My existence is entirely my own. <laughs> what the fuck, Mikon? Hey, don't laugh. Hey, Mikon, if you really do remember, then you already know, right? You know the true identity of the traitor hiding amongst us. <laughs> of course I know that. Let's see, the Future Foundation lackey that's hiding amongst you all is... Oh well, no one really cares about that, don't you think? Of course not. Oh hell nah! <laughs> you find out eventually, so there's no need to be so impatient. 
probably when the countdown ends. Countdown? You, you even know about that? Oh? I don't know anything. Huh? I have a feeling that what it, wait, I have a feeling that's what it is, but who cares about that, you know? <laughs> I'm drowning in such love from the bottom of my heart. I just don't care about anything, or anyone. That is... Mikon, is this really you? I won't believe it. There's no way I can believe. You were like this all along? Because if that's true, then who's the person I've been spending this time with until now? <laughs> the past. What? Past? That person, she didn't exist in the beginning. She's just my past self who lost her school memories. <laughs> you guys consider that thing a friend? Oh? Uh, it doesn't make me happy at all. It just fills me with despair. You guys accept my past self, but not my present self. Listen, Mikan. I love you regardless, but still... What? That... What? Well... Well, that applies to you all as well. Memories of people, memories of events, whatever memory it is, losing memories are... Like losing your personal identity. Wait, are you telling- you telling me that our memories are kept to make us like ourselves before the tragedy happened? That means someone in this fucking room has probably the biggest- the biggest influence on something, right? Memory is the most important component of building a person, do you think? Don't you think? Losing your memory makes us shadows of the past. Don't you think? Hey. I don't know what the hell you're trying to say, but... And the end is always leads back to the story, that story about our stolen school lives. Hey, hey. So, it was true all along. Our memories were taken away. Damn it! And if that wasn't true, who wouldn't be, su who wouldn't be suffering this much? <sighs> well, why don't you just take your sweet time and remember at your own pace? Oh, oh Monokuma, is it alright for you to start now? Yes, Punishment time? Damn it, why? Mikan, why does it have to end like this? This is too pointless. This is too much. Now then, I've prepared a very special punishment! Huh. For the ultimate nurse, Mikan Tsukimiki. So it's over. It's really... Now I can go to my beloved, who always forgives me. I can finally see them! Please forgive me! The one who's going to die with the hope of finally seeing you. Let's give it everything we've got! It's punishment time! What the fuck is happening? That was the execution? That one's pretty lackluster, to be honest. I thought he was gonna stab her with the fucking needle. <laughs> it's finished. Is it really finished? The killer who killed Ibuki Miyota and Hayako San Nanji was Mik. Uh, fuck, a lot of Japanese names here. Mikan Tsukamiki. I keep saying Tsukamiki, it's Sumiki. My bad. And she's been executed. She apparently committed her crime because she was affected by the despair disease. Not affected. Uh, afflicted. That's the word. I like stuttered when I said it because I knew I was wrong. 
So what? What's finished? Nobody wants to... To end this way. Let me ask. Who was the Mekon from earlier? Was that her true form? Or is it true symptom? Wait, true? Or is it itself a symptom of the despair disease? Damn it. It doesn't matter either way. If she ended up like that just from remembering, then all along Mekon was never worth being a symbol of hope. What? Even if her words were influenced by the despair disease, if the disease turned her into that, if she lost herself to a simple disease, she was definitely unworthy of being a symbol of hope. Isn't that right? So, let's just move on. <laughs> Come on, let's take all the despair and change it into hope. Please wait! That's impossible. I mean, I thought we were friends this whole time, but even so. Like a house of cards clapping, clapping? Collapsing in an instant. In the end, our friend was thought, our friend we thought we knew ended up showing us a complete different side of herself. Then she vanished from our sight, leaving behind only her malice towards us. And now, there's no way we can just move or try to have a clear-cut attitude about this feeling. That's clearly impossible. Damn it! It... It would have been so much easier if she was a traitor, too. Wrong! Too bad! That's not the case. Mikan was not the traitor. Come on! The traitor is still alive, as proof. See how fine Monomi looks right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm not fine at all. Hmm? But if the traitor died, you wouldn't be this calm, right? I mean, you're both paws of the Future Foundation, so you guys are like two hearts beating as one, right? You fiend. What does that make you fiend? What did you say? Wait, you... Well, fuck! <laughs> what does that make you fiend? You did say that you're different from Monomi. Phew! Who cares about who I am? More importantly, I'm tired. The drama just kept going and going. I don't even have time to eat my black bean right eye during the break. Hey. Your right eye is made out of black beans? Hey, hey. Wait, now that's time uh now's not the time for focusing on that. What are you trying to say? Hey! Um... You know, isn't it said that life has its ups and downs? It's fun because downs come after ups. But if light was full of downs, wouldn't it get boring? So in order to help you guys feel better, I prepared a special event. Special event. Head over to the first island beach. An old friend will be waiting there. Old friend? Huh? Could it be Nekamaru? Hey! Is it? Is, it is, isn't it? Nekamaru's safe after all. Hmm. Uh, safe. How should I say this? Hmm... I knew it. I knew that crazy bastard Nekamaru wouldn't come back to us in one piece. Wait, wouldn't? My bad. Would come back to us in one piece. <laughs> awesome! We're starting to see the light of hope. Komaeda, just go fuck yourself. Um... The light of hope. Um, I'm happy Nekamaru is returning to us, but... But I... So just as I thought. Three of our friends just died. So I honestly cannot be happy. You're right! You literally just... Ah, fuck! Like, we were so focused on, on Ibuki that I'm just thinking only Ibuki and Mikan. I completely forgot. Yeah, three of them just got swooped. Got swept on the battlefield. That shit was crazy. Hmm. Miss Sonya. However. However. Uh, even so, I'm still happy. If Nekamaru is safe, I'm truly happy. Fine. If you're, if you are happy, you should honestly greet him with open arms. Perhaps those who have been taken from us should do the same, if they still lived. Huh. Hey, Supreme Overlord of Who Gives a Shit? That line doesn't suit you at all. <laughs> Supreme Overlord of Who Gives a Fuck? Silence. Silence. I shall crush you into dust. Um. Ibuki, Hayako, Mikan, can you hear us? If you are unhappy, I apologize. However, please forgive me for right now. I want to warmly welcome Nekamaru when he returns to us. You don't have to worry, Sonya. I'm just... I'm sure your feelings are reaching them. Right? Then let's all greet Nekamaru. Let's make a grand event for those who have died. <laughs> oh, now you're crying. Huh? What the heck? Do you still have the after effects of the disease? I don't get this at all. Akane. Alright all right, then. Let's go. Yeah, you're right. Nekamaru's coming back. When we heard that, 
We were unable to contain our excitement as we jumped into the elevator. Man, they just ran off without listening to what I had to say. Jeez, they're so impatient. Didn't they learn to stick around until others have finished talking? Um, what does that mean? Hey. You're, you're plotting something again, aren't you? No way. I'm not plotting anything. I was just trying to properly explain everything to them. Including Nekamaru's body. Hmm? Huh? Nekamaru's body? <laughs> eh, it's their fault for not sticking around until I finish talking. <laughs> so if something happens because of that, I bear no responsibility. <laughs> you... What did you do to Nekamaru? What's this? What did I do? I just saved him. That's right. I mean, that's right. That's all. I mean, if I didn't do that, there's no way I could have saved someone who was that close to death. So it just couldn't be helped. <laughs> what? As soon as we exit the elevator, we started running. Hurry to the beach on the first island. Alright, let's haul ass. Time to haul ass over there. Even though our minds were completely exhausted, strangely enough, our bodies felt light. Without stopping for anything, we kept on running towards the beach on the first island. Where? Where in the world is Nekamaru? Hey! Hey, Nekamaru, show yourself! Listen! We have come back for you. Please, hurry up and come out of hiding. We raised our voice. We looked around the area. We raised our voices again. We looked around the area again. And so on and so forth. We kept looking for him. But... Hey, hey! What the hell, man? He's nowhere to be found. Damn it! Could it be? Did we all give false information from Monokuma again? And that's when it happened. We heard a familiar voice echoing throughout the beach. <laughs> what happened? Were y'all looking for me? Could it be? That, that voice. With high hopes in our hearts, we turned towards the direction of the voice. And then we saw something truly unbelievable. Huh? What the? Yo! I've kept you waiting. Hey, what's going on? Perhaps you don't remember my face since we haven't seen each other in a while. That's pretty sad, you know? That's too much! <laughs> um, who are you? Huh? You too? What's going on? If you're messing with me, I'll stop doing it to you. Um, Nekomaru? Haven't you noticed it yourself? What do you mean, noticed? Oh, you mean this body? <laughs> this is nothing! What the fuck am I looking at? I've been reborn in the rivers of hell. What am I looking at right now? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs>